Hello and welcome to my video. So in this video I'll be talking about how to wheel throw a mug and the full process of making a mug. So going right into the first step is wedging your clay. So as you can see here I have two balls of clay but in order to prepare the, the clay to be wheel thrown you need to take out the air bubbles and compress the clay. So by wedging the clay I just use the ram's head technique which is basically a process of like kind of compressing it and squishing it down towards the table to release all the air pockets and then throwing it right back onto the wheel. The second step, I just made a cylinder on the wheel, on wheel throwing it, and then I altered that cylinder in the way that I wanted my mug to look. So I made, I, you can make a bellied bottom, you can make different shapes, uh, you can use your ribs that I've done in the past, you can just do, do like ribs, like spirals. For these mugs, just as, as an example, I made three pretty fairly simple mugs. I, like I said, I started with a cylinder, and then I made a rim, like a specific rim on one. I used um, my pointer and index finger to, and middle finger to belly out the bottom of the mug. Um, I made a bigger mug, and as you can see here, I have three different types of mugs. These are different types of shapes, and I wanted to just try some varieties of mugs. Alright, so the next step, the third step, is trimming. I believe this is probably one of the most important steps, although it's not my favorite, um, trimming is very important to a mug. Um, whether you decide to trim or not to trim, that's also up to you, um, but for me, I prefer trimming, and I made a hidden foot on this bottom of the mug, which basically means it's a foot that you can't see from the outside when the mug is just sitting on the table, but it takes away the weight of the mug, so it makes it very light and easy to hold when you're like sipping coffee out of, or tea. And um, the next, the next mug I did, I wanted to have a uh, delicate foot. I thought I wanted a delicate foot, so I made a um, a foot as you can see here. And then I decided I didn't like it. I wanted a flat bottom on the mug, so I put it back on the wheel and I decided to trim that uh, foot off, which worked out well. And I do think that was a good decision, and I made a flat foot, so it didn't have a foot. It was just flat on the bottom of the mug. Um, you, it's up to really you and what you want to do with trimming. Um, this was a bigger mug, so this one here, so I wanted to trim off a lot. Unfortunately, I did go through the bottom of this one, but I made a false bottom, which normally I don't end up doing, but this one I wanted to save, just because I would normally scrap the mug but um, if I went through the bottom, but I wanted to do a false bottom because I really like the shape for some reason. And I think it worked out because the glaze looked really cool too. The next step for my mugs is pulling a handle. So as you can see here, you really can't see very well what I'm doing, which you'll see in just a sec. I do demonstrate how to pull a handle. But basically what I do is I take a uh, ball of clay and I apply some water and very li limited friction. And that makes a, and you should keep pulling very gently and that makes a handle. So for handles, honestly, I'm not very good at it, um, but I do prefer these handles. These handles that I did on these three mugs, I think came out really well. Um, as you can see here, pulling handles is a little bit weird, um, but it works. As you can see here, you just very little friction, apply a lot of water, and then you have your handle. Normally, you want to attach the handle towards your mug, to your mug, uh, around the stage of leather hard, um, just because if you're applying it, uh, the handle to the mug when the handle is very wet and the mug is very dry, um, it ends up cracking where the handle and the mug meet, uh, which is not good for a mug. Um, but as you can see here, they are all bisque fired and they did not crack, so the handles are good. And as you can see, I did do some variations on handles. So this one here with a special rim, I added a ball of clay on the top of the handle just so you had a place where your thumb could go. And it's all up to you. Like I said, some handle, every handle is going to be different, every mug is going to be different. It's all up to you as an artist. And then here, I dipped the uh, mugs that I made. These are actually textured mugs that I had made last semester, um, but I finally got a chance to glaze them, and I didn't add any texture to the mugs I made in these videos, um, just this video, just because um, I didn't think they needed it. I think the glaze would enhance them too. And then these are some of uh, the mugs that I had dipped and glazed, and I was really proud of this glaze result. So glazing was a very big challenge for me, but I used opal over blue midnight, and that created this very cool dripping texture on a textured mug. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you throw your mugs, and I will see you in the next one.